Hey guys, this is Mike with TechniqueTV.com. So today I'm going to be showing you a neat little trick that I learned a while back. It's pretty cool in the sense that you're combining two files into one, and what it lets you do is hide stuff. So to start, we're going to open up a folder. Uh, I'm going to be using my home folder, so start menu, and I'll click Mike since that's my home folder and now we're going to open up a command prompt so click start menu click all programs click the accessories folder and click command prompt <clears throat> now back to your home folder create a text document and we will label it secret message dot no, just secret message you don't need the file extension on there right now. And then we will get a picture. Let's use this snow leopard. You can really use any picture you want for this. I'm just using the snow leopard for an example. And if you click the picture right here where it says the file name, you're also going to see what type of image it is. If you see JPEG, then write that down. If you see PNG, write that down. That is actually crucial to what we're going to be doing. So just remember the file extension for the picture. And let's go back and open your secret message file you made. So you can right click it and then press edit. Now in notepad, which will appear when you click edit, let's type in Hey guys, this is a secret message. Don't tell anyone. And then let's press file and then we'll press save. And then close out of that. So, hold on a second. I'm going to rename my picture to just picture. Just for ease of watching this video. So now we're in our home folder in the command line. If you're not, just navigate to it. You can watch my basic command line tutorial I made earlier uh, this past week. So you can type dir into the command line and press enter, and you will be able to see that we have picture.jpg and we have secret message.txt. I'll mark these for you, picture.jpg and secretmessage.txt. Now what we're going to be doing is making use of the copy command. So we're going to type in copy, and we want to combine the picture with the secret message, so we're going to be using what's called a switch. So type a space, and type a forward slash, and then the letter B. That tells the copy command that we're going to be copying in binary, I believe. And then you're going to press space. And we're since we're combining the secret message into the picture file, you're going to want to type in picture.jpg or whatever file extension you copied down earlier. For example, it could be PNG, JPG, JPEG, GIF, etc. And then you're going to type a plus sign. And then we're going to type in secret message.txt because it's a text file. Now you may have titled your secret message file with something different, but in this tutorial we're using secret message. And now we are going to call our combined file with the secret message in the in the picture secret code dot jpg now if the picture you're using to combine the secret message with is dot jpg then you're going to be using the dot jpg at the end if not you're going to be using png or gif or whatever file type the picture was and now you can press enter and you will see picture dot jpg plus secret message.txt and one file copied. This means that the files uh, successfully combined. 
So now we can exit out of our command prompt and you can see click secret code and you'll see that the file is 1.38 megabytes. Now the original picture was 1.38 megabytes but it was probably plus or minus a few bytes. Uh, we can see 1,456,859 bytes and secret message.txt was 54 bytes. So those bytes together should equal what secret code is. And yes, they do equal that. So if we were just to open the secret code file, it would just come up as a picture because that's all Windows thinks it is. But really, we can right click secret code, press open with, and then press choose default program and then we can press other programs and then click notepad and press OK. You can wait for it to open and you might want to maximize this text file but if you scroll all the way to the bottom of notepad and then go over all the way to the right when the text stops rendering somewhere you should be able to find our secret message see right here it says hey guys this is a secret message don't tell anyone so as you can see we've hidden a message inside of a text file this is pretty cool maybe you don't want anyone to see a message that you're going to be transferring to someone just a pretty neat trick that I learned a while back and I thought I'd share it with you guys. So if you like this tutorial, if you have questions, uh, feel free to ask them. Click the like buttons if you liked this. And don't hesitate to subscribe to TechniqueTV.com on our channel if you would like to see more videos. Thanks for watching.